What's going on guys? So we are back today doing a Gentar Skies deck. I'm actually recording this one on Sunday. I'm going to probably upload Monday. Um, but I wanted to go ahead and take advantage of the league rules while, the, while we still have them. So uh, basically the energy is what I'm looking at. I, was, I want that starting 20 and uh, plus 15 energy per turn so that this deck operates a little bit better. I think Next week, we have a little bit different where they start you off with like 80 energy and then I think you only get like seven back. So uh, probably not going to be as good next week. But since I had already created this, I figured let's go ahead and record now. We can show it later. So uh, let's see here. Oh, what am I doing? So this is the deck. So it's, it's a Watching the Skies deck and it's showcasing this card here, Jantar Mantar. Probably butchering that, but that's all right. And it says, when drawn, if your deck has two or more Wonders of Construction cards, you're watching the Skies cards, wherever they are, cost minus one and gain 25 until played. So we have a fistful of watching the Skies cards, and we're going to take full advantage of this uh, minus one and plus 25. So what else are we doing in this deck? What's our other buffers? We have uh, Saturnalia. When played, if played between any history and any space card, your history and space cards, wherever they are, get that plus 18 until played. And then we get a, uh, your history and space cards are going to cost plus one until played. So a little negative effect there, but we are going to get that nice buff. Uh, other buffers we have include uh, Herald. So if your deck has exactly six history cards, give six random cards wherever they are, plus 19 until played. Uh, so that that plus 19 is going to be good. Also have super massive black hole for every non-space card in your deck. Give your space cards plus three until played. So we're going to get nice plus 27 until played in this deck. Dark web, of course. Going to potentially get that plus 16 perm, which is nice. Love permanent, permanent buffs. Planet X, uh, we do have exactly nine space cards. So we're going to get that plus 14 permanently on the space cards. Uh, other buffers include Mount Everest. So this card, you want to play it round three, turn two, and then give this card and cards adjacent plus 45 permanent power. So also a nice trigger for Dark Web. And a good reason to include Japanese Yen. I want to get some discounts on all these big expensive cards. We also have Eris in this deck uh, when returned. Uh, or, sorry, when draw on your space cards, wherever they are, lose 10 permanently. But once this is returned, they're going to gain plus 20 permanent back. So, nice plus 10 there netting. Uh, what else do we got? What else do we got? Uh, we do have this card here. I'm not sure how to say it. Menardra. Uh, when played, you're watching the Skies cards in hand. Gain plus 16 this turn and next. So, taking advantage of all these watching the Sky cards. What do we have? Two... Uh, six, six total, so quite a few. Uh, also rocking Astro Low, Astro, I always think Astro Globe when I see this card, but there's no G. Astro Labe, I don't know, something like that. Uh, when played, your space cards, wherever they are, gain plus 10 this round. And if this card matches the arena, this card gains plus 10 this turn. Uh, what else? We've got Wilhelm Olbers. When played, if your deck has four or more space cards, this card gains plus 26 this turn. And we're going to get a discount on our Watching the Skies cards until played. Uh, let's see. We haven't talked about Green Witch, just a big heavy hitter. Hopefully, you know, triggers gets triggered by Dark Web, gets triggered by our Watching the Sky buffs. So that card should be pretty good. And it's a three drop. Terminator, going to get cheaper as the game goes on. As we play it last turn of the round, and it gets plus 40 perm. Uh, we talked about, did we talk about Starshade? Five random opponents, space cards, wherever they are, lose 20 for two turns. Another buffer. If your deck has five or more space cards, five of your random non-space cards, get that plus 15 until played. Wuxing, your marvelous medicine and watching the skies loot cost minus two for five turns. Nice discount there. Threw another discount here as well, Gothic Circle. It's going to also help trigger, um, where is it? So between this card and Gothic Circle, it's going to be what triggers our Jontar. We need two Wonders of Construction, and those are the two. 
Uh, El Dorado, when played, going to gain that plus four for three turns. And I think that's about it. We do have Japanese Yen, just a little bit more discounts. So these space cards are quite expensive. So getting as many discounts as possible is really nice. So, so far this deck's been pretty good. So let's see if we can continue it. It's been a heavy hitter. <clears throat> but as always, guys, please hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. It definitely helps out the channel. We are growing, growing, growing. Still working on trying to hit that goal of a thousand subscribers. We're getting close. Definitely uh, maybe another month or so, I would say. We'll probably be there. So that's exciting. All right, what do we got here? We drew our a lot of our discounts, didn't we? So discounts for days. All right, we got 20 energy. So let's go ahead and drop you. We could probably hold mean time till next turn. Get a little more buff on it. Let's give him a nice hello. What's he got here? Ponzi. Okay. Shinny. Oh, he's doing a little debuff theme on me. That's never fun. Ha. <laughs> Hit super massive twice. You hate to see it. There we go. Get some buffers. Nice little discount. All right. We definitely want to get our green witch down. Probably take advantage of Saturnalia right now. So let's do that. Sucks I really wanted to play Dark Web, but I do want to get Saturnalia while I can. It's a little bit more difficult to trigger. Well, thank you, sir. All right, we got some expensive fistful of cards now. Yep. And let's do it like this. 264. He's probably got us here. That's all right. Oh, well, maybe not. Let's see. Mate, it's going to be close. I think we got him. All right, we drew our Mount Everest at an awkward time. So that's always unfortunate. Let's do it like this. I want to get Eris back so we can get that buff. El Dorado, nice plus four. That should be useful. I can hear my son yelling through the door. Always annoying. I've been practicing. Well, yes, you have. All right, there's our Terminator. <clears throat> Jantar, nice discount there. Probably take advantage of this card here, huh? That's a good turn. We want to get Mount Everest down round three, turn two. So we're going to get that 45 perm. So we're definitely going to hold it until we get there. Maybe we'll draw Japanese Yen in the meantime. Give us a little discount on it too. That'd be nice. As you can see, this deck is putting down some power. We got Terminator lined up now as well. It's definitely playing it. There's that Yen. Saw that nice discount. Let's go ahead and do it like this. He's going to need 600 to win this. I don't think he's got it. Maybe. You never know. All right. 
It's a good turn for him, though. Uh, he might he might have it. Let's see here. Anti-matter triggers. That's going to hurt me. Ooh, close. Closer than I thought it was going to be. <clears throat> Alright. Now he's starting with the minus 40 on the jet car, so that's good. Alright, we got our Saturnalia again. I think we need to get it down. Let's do it like that. This deck's hitting hard. I like it. So far, seems pretty strong. All right, there's a nice buff for us. He's got a black dog. Hopefully that doesn't hit anything too crazy here. Okay. Here we go now. Now's our chance for Mount Everest. Just definitely want to play it now. Ooh, and we got our Green Witch, so we're playing that. And what's the other card we'd like to buff? Probably Planet X, huh? Yeah, let's do Planet X. Okay, hopefully that Shinigami doesn't destroy me right here. And, of course, it does, <laughs> as always. Mm, not very funny. I hate playing Shinigami, says Yota. <laughs> That's a terrible Yota, I know. All right, we're up 186 or 187. Let's do... We do it like this. He, he could probably take this here, but that's all right if he does. And that's the game, man. We smoked him. That was a good deck we were up against, too. <clears throat> Aced him. So not too bad. This deck can definitely do some work. I'm uh I'm actually uh, pretty high on this deck right now. I think after after seeing that game, whew, this deck might be better than I thought. I mean, look at this nasty little brew. You just don't see that every day. You just don't see. I mean, this is why you guys come to this channel. Am I right? You like this spiciness, and if you don't, well, I mean. <laughs> You're in the wrong channel, because we like spice around this joint. Throw a little salt, a little pepper, you know, a little... Got to get a little... Bam! A little a little this. Bam! Like Emerald, man. Just bam! <laughs> That's the spice. A little paprika. Boom! Dropping a little McCormick chicken grill mates in there. Bam, bam, bam! <laughs> Who wants the cayenne? You do? I do. Ugh, I'm dreading going back to work tomorrow. Ugh, got a lot to do. A lot going on right now. Let's see here. Let's get us like that. He's dropping Testudo right out the gate, so that's that's going to be a problem this round. And he's got the Eldorado, which is nice for it. He's got that little extra extra energy to help his Testudo buff. So this could be a problem. Let's see if we can draw some some good stuff here. I think we go like this. Yeah, he's probably going to get us this round. Looks like we ain't acing two in a row. 
It was just a really good start he had there. All right, we're down to 30. Ooh, nice Terminator draw. It's good timing. We got our super massive black hole as well. Yeah, let's do it like that. Like I said, we're not winning this round. That's fine. This deck goes late. It's kind of nice having the Gothic Circle and Astro in the hand. In case you get Saturnalia, it's like instant. Instant can play it no matter what. All right, this deck could give us a nice run for our money here. It's definitely uh, coming out the gate strong. There's our green witch. Bad timing on our Mount Everest, so we're going to probably have to hold on to that. Can we go ahead and play green witch here. fine. All right. Well, he must have had a door to hell in hand. Everything's on fire. Another good turn for him. I'm surprised, surprised he played ghost instead of door to hell. I don't know if he really wanted that one energy he was going to get, but why not play it when you can get two? All right. There's our Saturnalia. We like that. Definitely going to drop it down. That's what we've been looking for. Okay, another jet car. This guy's the king of the buffs here. Andronicus, jet car, door to hell. He's, he's trying hard. Definitely trying hard. See if we can do it, do anything about it. It's always nice to smack the tryhards around a little bit, you know. He's probably got us here. I'm surprised he wasted Testudo right there. Didn't save it. It's interesting. Could be good for us. Definitely could be good for us. All right. So we got Mount Everest next turn we need to play. All right, our deck's starting to ramp up now a little bit better. This dark web's kind of helping us get that perm power going. Mount Everest should help a little bit, too. I'm trying to think what I'll draw right about now. I think I'm drawing into Planet X right now. Maybe Black Hole. Okay, Black Hole is what it was. All right, so we're definitely playing that. We're going to get Everest down. And what's our third? We could do Gothic Circle. That wouldn't be that wouldn't be a bad one to have a nice permanent buff on, since it's cheap. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, I have a pretty good feeling we win this round, but you never know. You never know. Let's play it out. Okay. 
Here's our Terminator. We're going to play it. I want to make sure it's rotating properly. Might be able to save Planet X till next round, though. Don't necessarily need to play it just yet. Let's do that. Let's get these cards out of our hand here. Get Planet X down next round. Yeah, he knew exactly where that Terminator was going to be at. That's fine. Minus 100 barely puts a dent in that thing. <laughs> that card is a busted. Look how cheap it is, too. Oof. You gotta love it. Alright, here we go. Time to stage our comeback. Definitely need to get Planet X down now. Do want to get Astro Lobe down as well. Can't play that yet. I think I'm going to play Green Witch next round. Alright, our deck's really starting to ramp up now. We're keeping up with them. Keep it up with him, at least. That was his big turn right there, I think. And we're right there next to him. That wasn't even really our big turn, honestly. This deck's got bigger turns than that. Okay, we got our Saturnalia. We want to play it. I think we're doing it like that. All right, we're starting to run away with this this game, I think, now. Our power is a little bit bigger than his. And he, he kind of wasted that Testudo on round two again. I don't know why he's doing that. Unless that's just a bot, but man. Definitely could be playing that better. All right, we got another Dark Web. Definitely playing that. Probably going to play Eris as well. Alright, I don't want to risk losing here. So maybe we just play Wilmer. 460. Is a bit risky. Because we can go higher. Can he top 600 here? I think we, we just do it. I'm really hoping he can't. Did he get us? Oh my goodness, he did get us with that long sword. That's unfortunate. I think we had that game in the bag too. Should have just played Yen. Well, it is what it is. I misplayed that. We definitely should could have won that. But all right, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the deck. I think the deck's super strong. Like I said, I'm pretty sure we could have won that game. But uh, it is what it is. As always, hopefully you guys enjoyed the content and the deck. And thanks for watching, guys. Have a good night.